very different video today. I'm heading to Burley Heads. I'm on the way to 99 bikes in Burley Heads because they're the closest bike shop to Coffs Harbour that will trade in a bike. So we're going to trade in Bix. Up, not sure what it does. Manage to try and fix for Electra. Not that we haven't been happy with that, it's been a great bike. But Vix is an urban pulse and we've had it for 12 months and we've done 850 or she's done 850 k's on that one on, on rail trail, so it's not really getting the use that it's intended for. So we're going to... Um, it needs more of a mountain bike. Um, the urban pole sunny puts out I think 65 newton metres of power. Whereas my Ascent X puts out 95, so... She's always struggling a bit. My Ascent X, when I bought it, it was just after COVID, so there weren't many bikes around, so I had to settle with the frame, with the small to medium frame size, and being just over six foot two, it's a bit small for me, I was always cramped up. So the plan is, we'll trade Vicky's in going to buy another bike. I can't get an XL in the Electra, which the Electrics, which I would prefer, but there's just none available. So it looks like I'm getting a cube in extra large or extra extra large frame. And then we'll modify my Ascent X so that Vicky can ride that. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully we get a decent trade-in price for a start. We don't have to spend too much. Party in three and a half hours? I'll let you know. So if this rain holds off. It's been pouring down all night. Extra strong for your tough cough and cold symptoms. So two hours later, job done. Back to home, back into New South Wales. It wasn't quite a smooth deal, but uh, I'll show you the new bike when we get home. Five hours later, mission accomplished, back home. So I've picked up a Cube Reaction Pro. The size is XL. Nice looking bike. My next job was to turn my old bike into something suitable for Vicky to ride. A few of the other differences. The Cube has his onboard computer and an intelligent system so it'll Bluetooth to your phone. Anything in it doesn't come standard with any readouts. Whereas the Vectrix has a full onboard computer with all the readouts doesn't Bluetooth though. Uh, this is 12 speed, the Electrics is 11 speed. Same power, both 500 watts. Um, but the Electrics torque is rated at 95. Battery died, so I don't know how far I got up to. But, um, the Cube is rated at 85 Newton meters of torque, whereas the Electrics are 95, I think. So it's down a little bit on power. Um, you can't really notice it. You do notice that the, um, the drive system is a lot smoother. The Bosch over the Bafang. Um, you do notice that it's torque assisted more on the Bosch. Whereas the Bafang or the Velectra is just power from go. But the hardier pedal on this. 
on the cube the uh, more resistance you get uh, what else brakes are bigger on the Electra and work more efficiently um, value for money I would have preferred to stick with the Electra but they didn't have the larger size in stock anywhere in Australia so I didn't have any choice there but I do think the Electra is better value than the, than the Cube anyway I'm just waiting for uh, I got this from 99 bikes they have a three month or 30 day satisfaction guarantee so I've been in contact with them they're going to swap it over for the XXL frame for me so I'm just waiting for them to get that into stock and fit it up for me and then it'll be another trip to Burley Heads to pick that one up the Velectra I had to um, girly up for Vic I oh, probably won't be able to see it in here so for Vic to be able to ride this I had to put a bigger seat on it for her and the twisted handlebars it's just in pieces because I need bits off the um, cube to complete the build of this the cube will have the handlebar extension on it so this has got a like a two inch so I'll have another inch on top of that when I finish with it and that'll go onto Vicky's bike. She's um, seems quite comfortable on the Electra. Hopefully, it'll remain that way. She's been on the Electra Urban Pulse since we got them. Uh, it's only rated at I think it's 55 newton meters of torque. So she was at times she was struggling to keep up with, <laughs> with the rest of us. I didn't realise it was so underpowered. So hopefully she'll be in her element on the new one. Anyway, that's where we're up to. This is my replacement e-bike. It's a Cube Reaction 500 Pro frame size is extra large I've just um, been on a test ride 16 K's and to me it doesn't feel any bit any bigger than my Velectrix which was the 45 centimeter frame that's the smallest in their range So I'm just going to check the measurements. So very quickly I just checked some, some measurements. So from the centre there to the centre of the seat. On the cube it's 620, on the electrics it's 600. From the centre of the pedal to the top of the frame on the cube it's 470, the electrics 450. From the centre of the pedal to the end of the frame on the cube it's 480 on the Velectrix it's 490 and the distance from the ground right up through the front fork to the top on the cube it's 1140 on the Velectrix it's 1120 so I guess most of the measurements on the cube it's 20 mil larger So first ride on the new kitty out bike
Keox is telling me to shift down. In her element. I can't keep up. As I said before, we've swapped over the bikes, so we traded Vicky's Urban, Urban Pulse, Pulse yes. which, um, do you think it was underpowered? Yeah, I do, <laughs> now that I've got this one. <laughs> so Vicky's gone on to mine and we've modified it so it's more girly type. So we put a bigger seat on it for her, put the bent handlebars on and raise the handlebars on about 100 mil. So you're comfortable on it? Yeah, I think so. It, just got to get used to stepping over the bar again. Yeah. But yeah. a noticeable difference in power. That's for sure. So hopefully Vicky's happy because I'm happy because that's what I've gone on to. Finally, after three weeks, um, I think in the previous video that the bike I had was white. Well, pale blue. Yeah. <laughs> it was an XL size and it was no bigger than the small of electrics. So I waited another three weeks and got the double XL, which was the only one in Australia, which is why it took so long. But in that three weeks, the price dropped as well, so that was an added bonus. Yay! I'm not in as much credit now. Yeah. So this has come fitted with the controller, obviously, but it's got the Keox, Keox screen. And that has got about six different screens. That's the one I ride on. It shows you how much input you're doing in your speed and that sort of thing in your battery power and what gear you're in as you change gears the controller changes color and so does everything on the screen mm. so green for eco blue for tour purple for sport red for turbo wow, which is pretty cool and then you can go across and you can change between all these screens so we've just ridden 8.3 kilometers 33 minutes gives us the range tells me how much charge is in my smartphone as well as how much charge is in the battery tells me how much power I'm putting in and how many revolutions of the pedals it's I'm doing wonder, it doesn't weigh you yeah <laughs> it uh, tells you the range in each gear so if I sustain eco I'd get 64 kilometers out of the battery if I went into turbo I'd get half that Wow! gives me my average speed for this trip maximum speed gives the elevation the steepest incline we've been but not only does it do that but it connects to your smartphone if someone rings you yeah, somebody rings you. You're not really meant to do that, I don't think. But uh, hands free. I'll just. So as I'm riding, the app is keeping track of what we're doing. So if I go into, if 
got my sunglasses on car so I can't read it. If I go into ride, it's mapping where we've been. Hmm. So it'll record that map for us. Record the rides. And then back to back to home. So it records all the stats, riding time, distance, average speed, average cadence. What's cadence? Elevation. Cadence is the number of times you turn the pedals around. Yeah. And it will also give you a readout of <laughs> calories burned, won't it? Mmm. So then bored. you'll know whether you can have an ice cream tonight. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy. Hopefully Vic's happy. Mine doesn't tell you much. There's a few there's a few differences in the bikes. Even though mine was more expensive, Vic's has got the bigger brakes which work better. And it goes faster. <laughs> it goes <laughs> fast. Actually it's got more output. That's got 95 newton meters of torque. That's got 85. Okay. Another difference with the gearing. They're both SRAM but um, Vix is more of a rapid fire, like you can change two or three gears at once, whereas mine doesn't like it. Tony wants to do one at a time. Uh, what other differences have we got? Shimano, aren't they? No, the SRAM. Shimano? They're the brakes. Oh. <laughs> no oh. wonder it didn't stop then, before. I was putting the gear stick. Putting the gear stick. She's still getting used to the new mm -hmm. bike. <laughs> anyway, I think it's um, been a good change. I like mine. <laughs> that's that's I like, good. I like the finish on the paint. Yeah, I do too. It's, a, it's, cool. it's more of a matte finish yeah. than the shiny. Yeah, the shiny's a bit old, old hat now. Although it's got a lot of greasy fingerprints all yeah, over it for when, be, they, uh, the when they put it together. So annoying. I'll have to wash it. But jeez. Very tough. Just can't wait to get them out on the trails. Hey, look at that view in the background. Oh, Go back. Yeah, apparently there's another wet weather change coming. Nice big cumulonimbus over there in the background. Trawlers have come in. Don't know whether they're running from the weather or they're just full. Looks like he's full to lean on him. Hmm. Yes, but very nice afternoon. So not too long. Um, um, it's, it's 30 days from tomorrow till we go to Port Macquarie. Yeah. Are we taking the bikes? Yeah. So we'll do a tour around Port Macquarie coming up. And then we're going to go and do the new bit of the Northern Rivers Rail Trail and maybe some more. I can just see the excitement building in her face. Anyway, that's it for us. See you soon. Make sure you subscribe and then you won't miss out on the next episode. <laughs> hey Vic. That's right. You can say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. You never goodbye. know. You never know what Vic might have on next time. So you better subscribe. She might, you know. We might go to the nudist colony. You'll be going on your own. <laughs> the other thing I forgot to mention is when you take the key off off or when you turn it off locks the bike so unless the key off is on and connected to your phone that nobody can use the uh, assistance they can still steal the bike but they can't easily ride it and if you pay an extra $60 a year you can get tracking if it gets stolen so, if you so we're home and now, if I turn it off, listen very carefully. That was the alarm setting. Not the alarm, the anti-theft. I don't know if you noticed, but it just gave all the stats of that last ride as it was turning off. <laughs>